It's given under the sea. Under the sea. My baby looked like a per she looked like Ariel coming out the water. She looked like a mermaid with like with like a veil over her head. Cardi Cardi slayed. Okay. Cardi gave the carpet what needed to be gave. It's a red, it's the red carpet, it's the blue carpet, honey. My favorite don't play no game, Tony. When it comes to the looks, Cardi comes through. Do you all Cardi? Oh my God. Oh my God. My baby slayed. Oh my God. She looks impeccable. Oh my gosh. She looks impeccable. Her face beat to capacity. Domestic violence. Then it's like her outfit, her body, her 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 skin is so beautiful. She I, oh she got a I know she got a mean skincare routine. And then her 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 whole freaking figure and and her oh her body snatched. And then the outfit is couture. It's you can tell it's a couture piece. She looks stunning. Big body. Oh she ain't a, my baby. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who you know? Your fave could never. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh. And my cousin. My go best friend. That's my best friend. Oh my God. She looks like a walking waterfall. It's giving mermaid. It's giving mermaid. It's giving mermaid. Cardi gave her what Cardi gave her was needed to be. Are they really? Cardi gave what it what is needed. Look, look, look at the hate. This shit is basic as fuck. This is something that you get from Sheen.com. They're trying to compare her, this to this to this gorgeous couture piece. It's like people are delusional. Like I literally am scrolling and I'm like, see, look, look, it's the mentally ill kids. They 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 on my they on my cousin's ass. Like they on how could you compare a couture piece like that to something that 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 sis got from the flea market looking like a bed bug? Please. Baby, she looks good. Cardi, one thing about Cardi. Going back to the, you know, main attraction, the dress is art. It surely is. It surely is. Cardi ate. Cardi ate. My sis ate. Boo ate. She ate. Cardi ate that. She ate that. And this is gonna be, and this is going to be one of my my thumbnail for my video. Y'all, I'm I'm literally I'm literally lit and I'm so happy. I'm looking, I'm watching the Grammys right now, so Bad Bunny came out with his little cha-cha. I was cha cha like a mug, bro. Like, one thing about it, I love the fact that he his Hispanic culture, he brought that to the Grammys, and he bought, like, you know, us minorities, us Caribbean people, I'm Haitian. His, you know, Hispanics growing up in Miami, all you see is Hispanics, Haitians, Jamaicans, like, us Caribbean people, we just are in Miami. So the fact that he brought, you know, the minority, the Caribbean to the Grammys and basically exposed, you know, culture, you know, the Hispanic culture to, you know, mainstream white America. It's a beautiful thing. Like, it's like we made it. Like, even though I'm not Hispanic, I'm a minority. So it's like he made it. He really, really brought the bachata. He brought all that. Like, when you grow up in Miami, you have no choice but to be a little bit Hispanic because, honey, you're going to learn. This is Asur. 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 That's blue in Spanish. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Asur or Asur. That's blue, whatever. Yeah, and my and my nanny used to be my nanny was Dominican and Haitian, and she taught me all my numbers in in Spanish: 21, 22, 23, 24. I know all my numbers from one to one hundred in Spanish. So yeah, you have no choice but to like know Spanish because Miami is Spanish capital, and you know Caribbean capital. Cardi ate, she slayed, she ate that, and I'm gonna go look at some more looks. I cannot wait to like you know get into all the red carpet looks. Um, I'm gonna go back to watching. Yeah. Woo -woo. Sheesh. My big girl, it's over with. Cardi B is the best dress, period. I, I've seen a lot of cute girls. I've seen a lot of beautiful girls. Like, Tell the was a good look for me. I like her look. Um, But what I will say is that Cardi ate that up. Cardi basically on the red carpet. She won that. I really, I'm seeing her in slow-mo and she's looking better and better. That other look was... What's her second look? I knew she was going to change because I'm like, I don't think she's going to wear that uh, on stage. This was her red carpet look. She's going to go on stage with the silver look. Sis, my sis, my, my favorite. I don't, I don't, I don't represent bozos or bobos. I definitely always stand the best of the best. Like little Kim, the queen. Cardi's the queen. Cardi's like the whole queen of hip hop. She's another queen. She's in the legend. She's a modern legend. She's in the lane with Kim, Missy, 
Cardi is on that level. Like, she literally is legendary. Like, she literally is making her way to the Hall of Fame. Whether people like it or not, Cardi is here to stay. Her, Cardi has solidified herself as a solid, firmly rooted artist. And I'm so proud of her, you know, from where she come from. It just shows that you can do anything. You can be anything. You just have to stay with a good heart and God will bless you. You know, God bless Cardi's heart and she is thriving. She's like out of here. She's out of, she's out of space. Sis looks so good. Oh my God. And it's like, it's in 3D, baby. Baby, it's giving it's giving high fashion. This is how you see the. That's what I'm saying. Y'all bitches love these these city girls. These cheap ass bitches. These bitches is cheap. Okay, all your little bitches look cheap. The, Cardi said that for a reason. Okay, these bitches is polyester. They could never fuck with a Cardi on they, on Cardi on Cardi's most bummiest, worst house. I'm sick and tired of culture wave crying in my ear. They. These hoes could never. Cardi would still kill these hoes. Period. Like, ain't no motherfucking competition. That's why these hoes is envious and upset and jealous. Like, they hate my sis because my sis fucks them up. Like, you bobo ass, bozo ass hoes. Like, I will never ever get enough of like slicing and dicing these whack ass, bear bug ass, nasty ass, white out, forgettable ass bitches. I will never ever get enough. Like, do you see her? Do you see her? Could Carisha or Young JT? Bitch, JT not Uzi on red carpet and he didn't even, he didn't bring the hood rap because I'm telling you, at, at that Rock Nation brunch, see, you don't bring JT everywhere. JT, is, you, you keep that, you keep, you keep bitches like her with bad attitudes home because she's going to embarrass you. Uzi left her home for Rock Nation brunch and he left her home um, for where he, for the Grammys too. You don't bring people like JT outside. She will embarrass you. Also, Young Miami too, you leave her ass where she's at. She's she was she's embarrassing. Anywho, yeah, I'm gonna always compare Cardi to these bitches because Cardi's the standard. All these hoes flip flop sandaly. All y'all hoes is wishy washy, and all y'all hoes is beneath my fave, and that's on period. You're beneath my fave. You are beneath her. You peasant. So guys, oh my God! So Lizzo literally just tore it down. I had a church moment. I saw her started hopping. I felt like a, I felt like I was about to pass out. Like you know when Kevin Hart was at Beyonce's concert and his head just about he just caught a spirit. Lizzo took me there. He took me to the. She took me to the King, and then uh, descended me back down to earth, and then took me up to him again. I talked to Jehovah twice. So C Cardi B, she had to do the outfit change. I don't know if this is before. This has to be afterwards. Um. She looks amazing. Both of her looks like amazing. I don't know. Because she, because I said I got the same. So of course, he's not going to change because he's a man. But I'm assuming the red carpet, of course, that's what she first came in with. And then it's like she's going to change, I think, into something more comfortable to present the award. Because I feel like, I feel like, you know, if to go, imagining her going up to going up in that blue dress, I don't see it. I feel like that was just for red carpet. I think she's going to present in this. And it's she's slaying. She looks great. Both of her looks are amazing so far, and I'm literally um, just waiting for Lotto. I hope she takes home Best New Artist because my heart dropped when, you know, she didn't get the melodic rap. But I'm so proud of Future, though, because, you know, he come from the trap. That's one of ours. He made it. Future got a Grammy, y'all. Ah! For what you heard, God bless him out of trap, niggas. Yeah. <laughs> gang, gang. Yup. He said it. Fuck what you heard. God blessing all the trap niggas. What happening? Yo, yo. What's up? From the bando to the Grammys, bitch. I know that's motherfucking right. Who said we can't do what? We can't do what and what? What's the, what's the, what's the statistic? What's the stereotype? Oh, okay. I thought White America had said something because Future got a, a, a Grammy, baby. I know that's right. I'm happy for him. But now, I mean, I just hope that every, after everything Lotta went through, I hope she gets best new artist because that would basically represent her whole catalog for 2022 and it will represent just basically her coming out and being a breakout star and that would be perfect for her so i'm hoping i'm hoping i'm hoping you know the grammys is unpredictable we don't know but i'm just hoping my heart literally dropped but i was it went back up because i'm like this is future i always said future deserves a grammy because he's so freaking talented he wrote drunken love i didn't even know that he wrote drunken love i found that out a while ago for beyonce it was time i'm so happy from the bando of atlanta from the boroughs of atlanta georgia to the grammy stop playing with us black excellency sweetheart I, that's why she's where she's at she's her biggest critic exactly when you're serious about your art you listen to yourself all day you want to know what do I sound like what my voice sound like what my what is my rapping sound like what are my bars like that's how you that's how she got to that position to this position right here like she's not lazy and she says she listens to herself all the time she's her worst critic I'm the same way like anything I do like I'm like it has to be perfect I am not a mediocre female it ha if, if it ain't right I'm not doing it. it I'm just not gonna do it so it has to be perfect and because of her um seriousness with her craft with that's why she made it like within a year she like 
shot to superstar. I love her accent. She's shot up to superstar. I meant to say, I meant to say, I love her accent. I love the fact that you know Memphis and you know just us black people, black excellence is excellence is in the building. You know, she's in front of this Caucasian woman and she's speaking and she's being herself. Like she ain't trying to fix up her voice. Like there's nothing wrong with our names. They like to stereotype us and tell us our names are too ghetto or we talk funny or, you know, no, like we are who we are. Everybody grows up in different cities and different states. You know, when you're from the South, you have a, a, a certain accent. You know, every every place is different and God made us all beautiful. So we don't have to conform to what, you know, uh, mainstream society says is correct. You know what I'm saying? So I'm happy she's herself. She got her accent, her thick country accent as she should. And she looks gorgeous. She looked like a pastor. I'm telling you, she looked like a wife. She looked like she married. She looked like she's married and got a husband. She looks so classy and so sophisticated. It's giving very much wife. It's giving a wife. It's giving a wife. And I love how Glorilla carries herself. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's so, like, she's classy. Like, she just is not. She really rap. She don't sell ass. She raps. That's that's the difference. I love that about her. You know, people love to jack your um, album release dates. You say something, oh, let me go put something out. You know how people be. Oh, they love it. Like, oh, March. I'm going to put out something in March. Oh, let me go ahead and beat her to the punch. Like, you know how people be weird and shit. So, yeah, keep your business to yourself, Glorilla. I know that's right. Boo look really good. She's giving the best dress is Cardi and Glorilla so far. That's the ones that really wowed me. The girls that wowed me was Cardi and Glorilla. Like, I looked at Glorilla and I'm like, oh, my God. That's not Glorilla like someone said. That's Gloria. That's a wife. It's a wife. Definitely, it's a wife. That's okay. And just have a great night tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you. You too. I know that's right. She did amazing. She looks gorgeous. She looked like somebody's wife. She looked like somebody's wife, you know. I'm just waiting for her husband to put her his armor, you know, his, you know, his his hand around her waist. Like, yeah, my wife. Look like a whole wife. A whole wife. <laughs> it's Cardi with this Hennessy bottle for me. Better. there she goes all right i love her dress i love how she looks lotto looks gorgeous look i mean, she's like it's like an ash blonde lotto looks like a freaking movie star i love her i'm looking i'm looking at her dress and i wish i could see the front of it but she was late but i love 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 how which i could see from the side she looks so good i'm so 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 proud of you lotto i'm so so proud of you were nominated you are only 24 years old you got two nominations you got two nom nominations you got a seat at the Grammy table. You got to sit at the Grammys. You were invited. You were nominated. You got so many more years to go and a beautiful, long career. And you are a winner. Glorilla, Glorilla and Lotto are so beautiful. They just showed out. Like, they are so young, so beautiful. They've, you know, just, they've, they've definitely grown and they've flourished and they've thrived from where they used to be. You know, Memphis and, you know, when Lotto was like on JD's show, all the way making it to the Grammys, I'm so proud of them. And it was a beautiful night. I had a ball. Like, I had a, I had so much fun, especially watching Glorilla perform. I had so, so much fun. It was like I was there or something like that. I was just happy to see, you know, um, people that literally, you know, would be stereotyped really get on a stage and show like, hey, I could be here too. And, you know, I'm just proud of the girls. Like, they, you know, Cardi, Lotto, um, uh, Glow, they were all in the building. And I'm just happy that she made it because she was late. And she looks gorgeous and she looks damn good. So I'm so happy, you know, for the winners, the nominees, all the nominees. Everybody in there that got nominated are all winners. And I'm so happy for them. Like, y'all had a, they look great. Everybody look good. And everybody go home or go to the after party and have a ball. Okay. So um, I was looking for a lot. I'm like, oh, where is she at? But yep, she, I like what she got on. Like she looks sexy. I, I want to see the whole outfit. But honey, it's giving face on jet class, body snatched. You know what I'm saying? So I'm proud. I'm so proud of them. I'm proud of both Lotto. I'm proud of Glorilla. They're young and their career is going to be very, very long and beautiful. You know, they just got to keep working and keep living, keep living your dreams. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's what I think about the Grammys, y'all. The Grammys was turned, and I got to see Cardi kill the looks. So far for me, the best dress is Lotto, Glorilla, and Cardi, to be honest. You know what I'm saying? Carisha decided to dress in a, a bathrobe. 
that's a whole nother story y'all never mind but anywho y'all i this is these are my thoughts about the grammy so i'm happy i'm proud of them